<laughs> Hello, I'm Brian Germain and I want to talk to you about your cypress because a lot of people are unaware that the cypress is set at 750 feet. That's where it's, it's going to fire. And for a lot of us, it just doesn't seem high enough. Uh, luckily, the folks at AirTech uh, have built in a, uh, an option where you can increase the altitude. And most people have heard of this, but they don't know how to do it. Or they know the way that bumps it up for one jump or down, uh, and then it resets to its normal mode. Um, so I'm going to show you a quick method here uh, that's going to allow you to change your cypress permanently, or at least until you decide to change to a different preset uh, firing altitude. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to push the button in the normal way as if I'm going to start it up for a jump. Then, at the end, when it gets to zero, I'm going to push that button, I'm going to hold it down. And this is a little hard to do, so you might even need two fingers. You just hold it down for a long time, and it's going to go through a number of different uh, information panels. It's going to give you first the information of how many jumps have been made on that individual cypress. Then it's going to tell you when it has to go back to the manufacturer for inspection. Then it's going to show you uh, whether it's in uh, feet or meters and then it's going to go to a zero if it hasn't been changed a zero is altitude plus zero in other words if you change it to a one it's altitude plus 100 feet right and so we're going to change this one to a three so let's cut to the actual work here so I first now have to turn the cypress off and that's the same thing as turning it back on and this cycle that I'm going to go through here, I have to go through twice, two different times, um, to confirm. So I push and release, and I go through this process. And so when I get to the end of this, I have to push and hold, not yet. Three, two, one, push and hold. Oh, it worked. <laughs> So 227, this jumps on the unit. The serial number is 97521. Then it's going to go to the date it has to go back, 2022, September. And then it goes to feet. So it's not in meters, it's in feet. And then I wait till I see AO, I put off, on, off. See that? That's the hard part. Two, three, push, release. That's all it is. So now I'm going to go again. Push, 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 push. And now I'm gonna wait again until it gets to the zero. Now, when I get to the end here, I have to hold it, and then I'm gonna do off on as soon as I see that A1. There we go, push and hold. I'm just waiting for it to go through these different screens. And I have to relax and breathe and picture what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go off on. Here we go. There it is. Off, on, off. So one, two, three, push. Now it's done. So the next time I start up this cypress and every time after it, it's going to look the same. But what you're going to see in the little window here is that it's going to say A3. And then it does it finishes the countdown. See the three? That three will go, go away and then it'll come back and it'll go away and come back for the entire day. And that's just to confirm. So everybody knows if you borrow this rig, it's plus three in case you pull like, you know, pulling it a thousand feet, now you know. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference, honestly, uh, for the altitude that most people are deploying. This is irrelevant. It gives you extra altitude under your reserve. That's the whole point. So you get more time to wake up from, you know, getting knocked out unconscious or to, to get over your self-aggressive phase of, you know, being mad at yourself or not checking altitude. Uh, whatever it is, you can avoid the trees, land on the drop zone, or land someplace safe, actually have time to unstow the toggles on your reserve and flare. That's a good idea, right? So, uh, I recommend it. I, I've seen nothing wrong with this. Uh, I see everything right about it. So, I do recommend everybody just increase the altitude of your Cypress at least 200 extra feet. I'm Brian Germain. Thank you for joining. If someone's to go flat and quark up into you, how do you know that you're, that you're going to live through this? In my day, we had a device so accurate, so wonderful, it would save your life. Do you have something like this today? Uh, the Cypress? Area? The Cypress. They still call it the Cypress. <laughs> this tickles me. I'm an old man. You understand? Let me see. Oh, show me the Cypress. 
Uh, where is it? You don't even uh, know where your cypress is, here. kids. Yeah. The rental gear had that. Okay. <laughs> it's off. Mm -hmm. All right. So you turn this thing on. Okay. In the morning. Right. Every morning. If you're jumping, you turn it on. First thing, right? Uh huh. If you forget, not, a mol not only am I going to give you a frashkin pish, you know what it means, a frashkin pish, mm -hmm. right? I give you a slap in the face. Not only that, but you're risking your life. Skydiving can be perfectly safe. And yet, you, I look back on my life as an old man now, and it's, it's sad to think of the number of people. If they push that little red button, if they'd only push the button, That's enough about that. All I'm saying is, push the button. Okay. Right? You understand? Okay. If you keep your eyes open, right? These little blue eyes, if you keep these eyes open, this is the key, right? Okay. If you're looking where you're going, if you're thinking about where you're going, if you're seeing stuff behind your head, right? Mm -hmm. This is what's going to make you an old man like me. Okay. All right? You promise me you'll do that? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right? Good. Good. All right, let's enjoy the sunset. Okay. What a wonderful, wonderful world this could be. What a wonderful, 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 wonderful world. Yeah, now look, look up at me and go, press that button. Press that button! Huh? Press it! Oh, kick your ass! <laughs>